Mike, of course, back home this weekend with South End coming here to the stadium. I mean, obviously, first off, off the, the back of last weekend, I suppose, what's the, the general sort of atmosphere? I mean, been like this week in terms of, you know, in, in training and just the, the boys kind of reflecting on that and obviously yourselves, I suppose, as coaching staff as well. Um, it's been a positive week, obviously really disappointing um, performance and result, we, we know that, we've watched it back um, and yeah, we've identified where we were poor. Uh, this week's been a really positive week of training, it's been tough, tough on the lads I think mentally and physically but we, we're in a good position now and we're looking forward to a really good test. And I suppose, how has it been for yourselves obviously as, as coaching staff, I mean since you've come in, you know, this is probably the first sort of patch where things haven't quite gone your way so I mean how's it sort of been for for users coaching and stuff as opposed to, to deal with that in itself I suppose is a new challenge really yeah it's uh, it is it's a difficult situation um, but for me it's a case of we nothing changes we we work harder we have to work harder win lose or draw we will we've got to find solutions and the lads um, uh, been in this week and like I say we've had a really tough week um, and we're, we're ready for, for Saturday but on the whole like you say it, we, we've had sticky starts to the season before um, where it's taken a while to find our pattern this is uh, you know a different scenario but there's still the method and the principles don't change we, we just keep improving working harder everything that we can control um, we're trying to maximize our resources um, from top to bottom and that's the only thing we can do. And speaking on Saturday, obviously South End coming up north. I think they mentioned it was their, their longest away trip, which I think is the case for a lot of teams coming here in the league. But obviously they're on a good run of form. I think eleven unbeaten, maybe at, at the moment. But how are you looking ahead to that one? Yeah, they they they've got a good uh, good team, good players, good squad. Um, they've got a way uh, of playing. They're going to be difficult to uh, to break down, play five at the back. Um, but they're very compact and organised as well. Um, so, like I say, you know, we've we've watched them, we've studied them, um, and we've got to make it tougher. And we've got to make them really feel the journey. Come here, give them nothing physically, tactically, technically. We've got to we've got to dominate all of those areas um, and make sure that everyone's on their game. And we focus on how we're going to hurt them and our game plan. Um, and like I say, nothing changes when you know when we we've, we've had these. Uh, these obstacles um, in our past, we, we've managed to overcome them and we're looking forward to, to doing that tomorrow. And of course as well, a, a boost to the squad in, in terms of incomings in a sense. Um, obviously Elliot Forbes coming back on, on loan from Spennymoor where he's been able to, to get a bit of consistent game time, which obviously he hasn't quite been able to get for a while through injury. I mean, how much of a positive is it not only to have him back, but have him back on the back of playing for Spenny pretty regularly as well? Yeah, it's uh, it's been he's been doing really well, um, and you know with Forbes, we we he's a local lad, he's a great lad. Boys love having him around, and um, it's never his, uh, his his ability that's been in question. Like I say, he's just had a difficult period, which everyone goes through in their careers. Um, but he's been mentally tough enough to grind that out um, over the past couple of seasons, and um, he's played back to back to back nineties uh, now. Um, done really well for for Spennymore. Um and yeah, he comes back in, so it's a massive boost for the lads. And in terms of injuries, obviously, I think in terms of the longer term ones, obviously, Lewis Knight, Robbie Tinkler, and, and Louis Story have, have been out for a little while. I mean, what's sort of the situation on those three at the moment? Um, Louis probably closest. Um, he's been doing a lot of uh, a lot of work behind the scenes, as as he always does. Um, he's relentless in everything he does. So we're looking forward to him potentially um, after Torquay. Um, Tinks won't be too far behind him. He's moving really well. Um, I've seen him go through some grueling sessions, so that's positive. Um, and ninety is just a, a matter of um, each week incrementally, just trying to get closer to, to back fitness functionally, really. Um, so yeah, there's no real time time span with him. And on the the shorter term front, I think obviously Owen Gallagher came off after 20, 25 minutes or so. I think at Yorville last week, obviously Greg missed the game as well. I mean, what's the the situation looking like with those two? Yeah, Gally hasn't trained. Um, I don't think he's far off, but um, yeah, he won't be involved tomorrow. Greggy the same. Um, he, he had a, a tight calf and he found it in training on the Friday. Um, so yeah, wasn't wasn't available and isn't still available. But like I say, I, I don't think it's going to be a, um, too far a distant future. I think hopefully maybe another week or so. Um, obviously spoke spoke to him today. He's chomping at the bit, but we've just got to be sensible with, with him. And another boost to the squad as well with with Connor Carty coming in on loan today. I mean, how much of a positive is it to get? 
another body in that's going to be you know young, hungry, fit into the the rest of the squad, and and obviously improve the the options you have available to you as well. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. Like I say, we're we're trying to maximise our resources and in, in, in everything we do. Um, He's young, hungry. Um, he's he's got some um, some ability. He works hard. He's got a good attitude, and we're looking forward to him coming in. He's only, only trained today, so he'll be on the bench tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we can already see he's got the quality. He's he's highly thought of, um, and hopefully, yeah, he can come here, enjoy it, develop, and really contribute to to our fight.